What's happening, y'all? This is OBB, the Diecast News Guy, and heck, yeah, I like to say these guys, man, I mean, doing these Diecast reviews, I am definitely, uh, you know, uh, I, need, I definitely need to quench my thirst. So I'm gonna go and crack open a cold one for you guys right here. So here we guys go. I got myself a nice little Mountain Dew can right here. Now you guys are probably wondering, well, what the hell? I mean, I came here for a Diecast review. Why the hell are you showing me a damn soda, Brian? Well, if you look pretty closely, guys, I mean, uh, this is actually a very unique uh, soda can because if you see right here, it might look like an ordinary soda can, but if you look, this looks, uh, you know, fake and kind of a little bit dusty and dirty as well. So I don't know who would be the crazy SOB to go ahead and actually, you know, drink this. I mean, um, for all I know, I mean, it does feel kind of hollow as well. Well, inside of this Mountain Dew can is actually a die cast, a die cast from the uh, Dew Crew. Now, that might give you a little hint of what this is, but this is on a car from 2001. And you guys want to know what the best part is? Look at this, guys. Let's go ahead and open up this bad boy as I'm doing a horrible, horrible uh, introduction right here. Look at this. I can't open up the damn thing. Look at this. I probably shouldn't even wear gloves trying to go ahead and actually showcase this right here. All right, I got the damn thing open. Look at this. Da, 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 da. Look at this. It is going to be a die cast review on Casey Atwood's 2001 Dodge Dealers Mountain Dew Dodge Intrepid for Ray Abraham Motorsports. My lord, let me tell you what, man. I mean, we really... The, the, the die cast that we got in the early 2000s, man, always came out in very unique ways, guys. We had the Budweiser bottles or, you know, the, the oil filter cans with Pennzoil and Napa. But this right here really takes the cake, guys. I picked this up at the Daytona Turkey Run, I think, uh, yeah, back in all the way back in November. So I finally was able to go and get this, guys. Um, but yeah, this uh, was a really nice pickup, guys. I mean, at first I was like, wait, is that Jeremy Mayfield? But no, I do remember that is a Dodge Intrepid. And this paint scheme does look quite familiar. So, but I just thought that was pretty cool. And yeah, hopefully you guys didn't have a nice little troll moment right there. But let's go ahead and unbox this bad boy. Or, you know, crack this sucker up. And let's take a closer look at the Casey Atwood 2001 Mountain Dew Crew Car. And alrighty, guys, we got this die cast out of the box, and my goodness, man, this is such a cool die cast, guys, as I'm going to go ahead and showcase the Mountain Dew can right behind, so a nice little preview of that, but yeah, guys, let me tell you what, man, this is a very electrifying car right here, and not just saying that because, you know, green is very, you know, electric, if you know what I mean, but dude, this is so cool, guys, I mean, I think... The, this this color combination goes well because you know i mean mount dew when you think of mount dew you think of red and green and this really incorporates it well especially with the dodge uh dealer sponsorship as well because you know dodge is white and red so but this is really cool guys i like uh the outlines we've got right here the jagged lines it really makes this car look aggressive now this is just a one-off scheme that he ran at the uh, mountain dew southern 500 at darlington um as you can see right there this was you know casey atwood's rookie year in the nascar winston cup series and um yeah if you guys see right there this is a censored car it does not have winston on it it has nascar cup series so that kind of sucks right there but hey mount dew is uh you know <laughs> very kid friendly if you know what i mean who doesn't love their soda but this car really just screams electrifying guys and if you guys even remember uh do you guys remember that the, the the dew crew uh remember they were advertising that throughout the whole race and i think they even had an ad about that too with casey atwood and the dew crew uh, i find that kind of funny and kind of cringy as well but um I'm just kidding, though. I mean, definitely not cringy, guys. I mean, heck, you know, what wasn't cringy in the 2000s? But, you know, nostalgia really comes into play with this uh, paint scheme, and I, I absolutely just love this, guys. Even though it was a one-off scheme, guys, when I think about the Mount Dew cars, um, you know, long before we had the Mount Dew cars with, you know, uh, the Henrik drivers like Chase Elliott and Dale Jr., we had, you know, we had, you know, this right here, guys. Um Before we had Casey Kane and Jeremy Mayfield, we had this. This was, you know, I guess you could say the debut of the Mountain Dew Dew crew. And let me tell you what, man, I love me some Mountain Dew, man. I even love the, you know, the alcoholic Mountain Dew that we got right here in Florida. So <laughs> you're never too old for Mountain Dew, damn it. Um, but my Lord guys, this is so cool guys. Um, like I said, he only drove this at the, at the, uh, Southern 500, the second Darlington race. And he unfortunately didn't run too well in this car. I mean, I think he started 30th and finished 25th. And yeah, I mean, um, we have all heard the story about Casey Atwood. We all thought that he was going to be the next big thing, especially for, you know, the debut of Ray Everham's uh, team in NASCAR. And uh, yeah, it <laughs> didn't really turn out that well, guys. I mean, um, this is the only time he drove the iconic 19 before Jeremy Mayfield took it over. And then he uh, drove the seven car um, in 2002. And then after that, uh, the rest was history, my friends. He only made like a few more starts but those were his only two full-time starts uh seasons actually um and then he just became on like a back marker for the Xfinity series for like i don't know the the rest of his career basically um i this is just a perfect example of someone that got rushed up way too quickly from the um what was known as the bush series to the cup series 
I don't know, man. He only had what like one good race in this car, and that was at Homestead. I think that, that he finished third, so he only got one top five. But six DNFs. It was just a bad season, guys. A bad season and a bad start to Casey Atwood. And it kind of sucks he just got demoted that quickly, guys, you know, after getting this upgrade. But, heck, I, I think everyone kind of learned the lesson with Casey Atwood. Just, I don't know, man. I mean, he, he might have been good in that 27 Castrol car for the Bush Series. But after that, man, he just, uh, it, it just shows you that this kid was not ready for Cup. And it's just unfortunate that, you know, his career really spiraled down ever since. Um, he tried making a comeback in the uh, the Bush Series with, uh, I think he, he was able to get, like, maybe a win or so, I think, in the Bush Series um well well actually no if i'm not mistaken i don't think he even got any wins i mean i remember he drove like the 14 like navy car but heck, he didn't even got any more wins he only got those two wins in the uh nationwide series or um you, you know what i mean nationwide xfinity bush it's all the same series damn it but i do love the paint scheme guys this paint scheme is really cool i mean you got the red and the black um, and then, you know, the Dodge dealers, man, I miss Dodge, man. I really hope, you know, Dodge can come back in NASCAR or somebody does. And then you got the old Mountain Dew logo right there before they went to uh, Mountain Dew to MTN Dew. So, <laughs> but in the Dodge Intrepid mold, my guys, I mean, very underrated mold. Very, very underrated, guys. Um, I don't know. I just like how you can clearly see where the grill is right there. That it's. I don't know. Not so people don't really like the Dodge Intrepids, but I don't know. I think they're kind of unique, guys, especially with this paint scheme. kind of looks like this thing has like a mean face. Like, hey, you want to mess with me, bitch? Not today. But I, I really love the paint scheme layout, guys. It, and plus, I think one thing I like about this guy is you got like these nice little, uh, it's trying to represent like a cyclone or something right here. You got like, I don't know, like how the Mountain Dew logo is. It's kind of like, uh, it has like a nice little yellow swirl. This is supposed to represent this, guys. Um, and I don't know. It looks really cool, guys, in the, in the dark black and thick lines um just really makes this car look very uniform guys and i don't know i just green and red just looks so good together guys and this one just looks nice if it was just a solid green i think it would still look okay but i think adding this yellow lime green really just gives this car like a whole new meaning purpose and it's even outlined as well where the red is so that's pretty darn cool guys you get the uaw logo right there your friendly dodge dealers um Heck, yeah, that is really cool, guys. And uh, Casey Atwood's a very, very interesting name. I, it looks like a bunch of scribbles, to be honest with you guys. The classic Everham font, guys. UAW National Training Center. And on the back, guys, look at that. Even the back looks pretty cool. I mean, does that look mean? Uh, too bad, you know, <laughs> Casey Atwood wasn't really the best driver in the Cup Series. And those good old rookie stripes. And this side is the same as the other side, guys. But, yeah, I mean, um, what more can I say about this diecast, guys? I just like how it came in a unique packaging. I mean, we need more diecasts like this. I think, well, like, the last time we ever got a diecast, so it was in a unique packaging. And Lino actually did make something like that. It was with Chase Elliott's, uh, what, like, Napa. Uh, it was, like, in a, it was like two cars that he won. I think it was at Texas and Darlington, I think, if I'm not mistaken, or something like that. Um, it was, like, two-pack set from 2014. It was in a Napa filter can, so I thought that was pretty cool. Um, would love to see that, you know, I don't know. It, it just make diecast packaging more fun and creative, and that's just something I liked that they did that with the oil filters and you know beverages. Um, I think it'd be cool if they could do that with energy drinks too. But you know, if there is a lot of uh, licensing issues with that, you know, I'm looking at you, monster. But um, it's a shame that Mountain Dew is no longer in NASCAR, guys, because they had some of the coolest paint schemes, and this one is personally one of my favorites. And comment below which Mountain Dew scheme has been your favorite. I mean, it could be in any era of of uh, you know NASCAR, whether it was with Everham or with. Um, Henry Motorsports, or, you know, maybe something that I don't even know that even raced a Mountain Dew car. But feel free to post your comments, thoughts below, as this is going to wrap up this relatively short diecast review of Casey Atwood's 2001 Dodge Dealers Mountain Dew uh, Dodge Intrepid for Ray Abraham Motorsports. Can I subscribe? And this has been OBB. See you guys next time on another NASCAR diecast review. And uh, stay classy, y'all. And uh, yeah, drink your dew.